Nerds! Hi Yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a twisting vinyasa flow. Twisting is great for your digestive system, it's great for circulation, great for your spine, and all of those things of course are going to help with our weight management goals. So it should be a fun flow. We are going to start in a comfortable uh, butterfly seat here. So um, bottoms of your feet touching, you don't have to worry about them being like flat against each other they can kind of be open a little bit more like a book we're not worried about pressing our legs down having our feet super close uh, to our body anything like that just a comfortable position that's starting to let gravity stretch out our inner thighs a little bit so we'll start here grounding into the earth with our sits bones extending tall through the spine and just beginning to activate our mula bandha breath so that's going to help us through this entire practice while we are doing our twisting. So starting here, inhaling, think about inhaling in a 360 direction at the base of your belly. So inhaling there, and then as you exhale, squeezing everything in and out, exhaling through your nose, inhaling here, exhale, letting all of the air travel up as you exhale. Inhale again, exhale, and keeping that mula bandha breath and that victorious sound as you exhale while we start to add some movement to the flow. So inhaling here, you're gonna extend your arms to the sky, exhale, hands come to heart center in your namaste mudra, and then twist to the right. I'm hitting the wall a little, so I'm gonna move forward a bit. And open arms, twist to the right. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, come through your namaste and twist to the left. Open arm, twist to the left. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Now, as we're doing these twists, you really want to think about the twists coming from your core and your side body. We're using our abdominal strength, but our deep core strength as well to do these twists. We're not yanking with our arms or anything like that. It's all coming from the deep core muscles all along our spine. And we're going a little quicker pace here so we can get some of our weight loss and weight management benefits. Last one on each side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center, namaste. As you bring your uh, legs a little bit closer together here, we'll start taking the twists a little bit deeper. So inhale, exhale. This time, keep your hands together and just twist to the right. So now we're, I'll kind of turn this way so you can see. We're leaning back, keeping our spine long as we're twisting our elbow to the right. Again, using all of our deep core muscles, our side body, our obliques. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center and we twist. So again, long spine, spine's very important. We don't wanna hurt our spine while we're working our core. Inhale, exhale. Now this one, because it requires a bit more movement, we're not gonna go as fast. We want to protect our spine here. Last one on each side. And then we'll take the twists a little bit deeper. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come through fists of fire. Pass your low belly and fingertips plant firmly behind you. Really extending the spine long, bringing your legs together. We're gonna lift our toes up. See if we can hold this balance for a moment. And then from here, uh, and you can do this with your feet on the ground too if that's easier for you, you'll extend. Twist onto your right hip and exhale, doing one hip twist. So taking those twists a bit deeper, a bit more active in the core. Again, this one we're not going to do too fast because we want controlled movement. And long, healthy spine while we do this.
really using the Mula Bunda breath while we're doing this movement. And last one, each side. Back to center. Feet can come onto the earth. Inhale your arms tall. Exhale, just plant your um, hands onto your knees and stretch. Get a nice belly stretch after all of that core work. Then you can start taking some cat cow, so stretching out the back. It's great for your core as well, doing this cat cow, it's really good for the spine. And last time, inhaling, stretching again at the top. And exhale, very nice. Now we'll take that into our more vinyasa flow. So coming onto your hands and knees, take fingertips, uh, firmly planted fingertips and strong palms onto the earth, really grounding into the earth here. Bent knees and arms to start. Wave your spine long so you can create space for your neck and your shoulders and then pressing yourself back into a downward dog. And from here you can pedal out your feet a little bit, starting to warm up your legs. Now since we're doing a twisting vinyasa flow, we'll do a twisting dog pose. So bending your knees to the right, your feet will stay, um, stay where they were, so you're not gonna put your feet together but keep them a little bit separated, but knees bending to the right. Stretching your right side body. And from here, extending out long, we're coming into kind of a side plank. If one foot is kind of in front of the other, like the Egyptian pose dance. And then take your right foot, plant it about halfway up your mat, 90 degree angle with your right knee, and really press into the earth with everything that's on the ground and extend your right arm to the sky. We'll using that Mula Bunda breath to hold this pose for a couple of moments. And then planting your right fingertips back onto the earth, rotating so you come onto your back toes, really lifting in and up with your core so you've got your right knee into your chest for a core plank. And step your right foot to your right thumb, inhaling here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to a high lunge. Exhale, take a moment with your hearts, with your hands at heart center in Namaste Mudra. And we'll do that open arm twist again like we did when we were on the floor. So inhaling here, exhale, twisting to the right, open your arms to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift up last time. Exhale, twist. And you can hold this twist for a moment. Right arm can drop behind you, or if you prefer, wrap around your back. And the left arm can extend overhead. Get a bit more of a side body stretch while we're doing this twist. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the earth, really ground into the earth with your fingertips. Step back into your plank pose. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rolling yourself in and up to cobra. And exhale through pointed plank back to down dog. Very nice. Pedal out your feet. Notice the difference you've already made in that right side. And from here, twisting to the left. Now we've got down dog twist to the left. Our feet are still separated. Holding this pose for a few moments, stretching out our left side. And then exhaling, coming into that side plank variation. And you'll take your left foot about halfway up your mat, really ground into the earth here, 90 degree angle in your left leg. Think about pressing into the earth with your left foot, the pinky toe edge of your right foot and your right hand. As you lift, lifting up through your hips, up through your core, reaching tall towards the sky. You can look up to your hand, you can look down to the earth, whatever is more comfortable for your neck. And then 
exhale, firmly planting your fingertips on the earth. Really create space by bending your elbows here, lifting your left knee in and up for that core plank and stepping your left foot to your left thumb, inhaling here for parallel long spine, bend your back knee, rolling in and up to your high lunge. Exhale, take a moment to center yourself with hands in Namaste Mudra. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist, open arm twist to the left. So you see we're, we're really twisting our body here, but our hips are staying forward. So the twist is coming from our core and our upper body. Awesome, last time here. Exhale, very nice. So again, as we're holding this, think about keeping your hips square forward. We want this to be a twist, not a weird hip manipulation or anything. And then from here, uh, left hand can drop to the left leg or rotate around your back. And you can extend your right arm above you, creating a bit more of a side body stretch while we're in our fun bhakti twist. And exhale, cartwheel your hands back to the earth. Really strong fingertips again, stepping back into plank. Come onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up and exhale. Back to down dog, very nice. Pedaling out your feet again. And we'll try another flow like that with a little bit deeper twist like we did in the beginning. So coming into your twisted dog, knees to the right. From here, if you've held that for a couple of moments, coming back into your side plank variation, you can put your right leg up again on the mat or stack your right foot on top of your left this time and see if you can balance here, really lifting up through your hips and your core. And then from here, coming into your plank, but core planks are really lifting your right knee in and up, up, up. And then step your right foot to the right thumb. Inhale here, prepare. Bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up. Come back into the high lunge. Take that moment in namaste to kind of catch your breath, catch your balance. And from here, and they're going to stay in namaste. We're going to take a twist. But this time, touch left knee on top of right uh, leg here. Inhale up. Exhale, just tapping the top of your leg with your elbow. Inhale and exhale. This time, see if you can hold the twist, really grounding into the earth with your feet. Left elbow is resting on the right leg, extending long through the spine. Holding this twist for another moment. Then from here, planting your left hand onto the earth underneath your left shoulder, right arm extends, and you can start to straighten out your front leg to that first edge of stretch. From here, we'll do some circling. So circle your arm down and back, bending everything towards the earth, and extend, coming back to that first edge of stretch. Exhale, getting some revolved triangle in. Exhale one last time. And from here, coming back to the earth, strong palms, or strong fingertips and strong palms, back to plank, onto your knees, through your chaturanga. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rolling yourself in and up to cobra, and exhale in and up to dog. Very nice, we've got one more side. <laughs> so gather up that energy and come into your twisted dog, knees to the left. holding this pose for a couple of moments, and then extending long through your spine to your side plank. Again, you can bring your left foot halfway up the mat like we did before, or if you want to try the side plank challenge, you can stack your left foot on top of your right. The left arm extends to the sky, really lifting away from the earth with your hips. 
balancing on your right arm is not easy. Side plank is a challenge, so have fun. And exhale, coming back into plank, but bending your knees and elbows to create space to lift your left knee into your chest for core plank. And then step your left foot towards your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to high lunge. Exhale, hands come to heart center and namaste. And we'll take that little bit deeper twist. So this time, right elbow just touches top of left leg. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. It is a fun challenge. <laughs> Inhale up and hey, if you wobble a little bit, that totally happens. We are balancing while twisting. So it is not easy, but it is so good for you. So keep chipping away at it. We're holding this twist, balancing here. You can look to the earth for balance. Again, keeping your hips stubbornly squared to the floor. You don't want to be twisting your hips in any weird positions. Really grounding to the earth with your feet, long spine. And then from here, right hand plants beneath right shoulder, left arm extends to the sky. We'll do those revolved triangle twists. So come to your first edge of stretch here, and then exhale, circling everything down, bending everything get close to the earth, and then rebuild the pose. Exhale. Inhale back up. Exhale. One more time, exhaling, circling towards the earth, building the pose back up, coming back to that first edge of stretch. And circling back to the earth, strong palms, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up, and exhale, back to downward facing dog. Very nice, pedal out your feet, think about all the awesome twisting and balancing and work you just did. We'll do one more vinyasa to kind of seal everything together, so bending your knees and elbows, Inhaling onto your toes, wave yourself forward to plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, rolling yourself in and up, and exhale, back to down dog. Awesome work today. Start walking your feet towards your hands. Take a moment in forward fold. Slightly bent knees here, you want long spine first and then come to the fold. And then whenever you're ready, make your way onto your back for our final resting or Shavasana pose. Start by feet are kind of wide and windshield wiper the legs. It's a great twist as well to do this. It's also really good for the low back. And it's a nice massage and stretch for your glutes and your legs. And if you have any stretches that you want to do, absolutely hit pause, take a moment, do yogi's choice moment to get any stretches in that you want. Um, it's your practice, of course, so you gotta do what you gotta do. And then whenever you're ready, just take balls of the feet together again. Again, they can be open like a book, not necessarily closed. And just let your knees fall open, coming into a reclined butterfly. Coming full circle in our practice today. can keep that mula bandha breath and then slowly transition just into kind of a normal breath where you're not really thinking about it. And just take a few moments to rest here, sealing your practice into your body, settling into your new normal. I hope you enjoyed that twisting vinyasa flow as much as I did. I love twisting. I think there's, it's so much fun, and I love that you can incorporate it with balancing and everything else. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
That way you get notifications when the next videos go up. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I do have exclusive content for you there. Namaste.